Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. There is no Vestal in the stagecoach. There's a Howard though. Which is fine. We're on week 43, which seems very strange to me, because we're only on episode 38, and I don't think we've made that many, uh, you know, double episodes, but maybe we have? Hmm. Unless it takes like two weeks to do one of these things or something. That was a, that was a long mission we did last episode, so maybe... Uh, I'm kind of really confused to be fair. You know, these... These lot went out in week 43 and came back in week 43, but then they went out twice. I do think they actually did go out twice, didn't they? Level 3 long. Yeah, in week 42 they left, in week 43 they came back. Ah, who knows? Let's do something then. We need a lot more of everything. Um, we can't really upgrade anything. But what I want to do is I want to level Martinus up. And I know I said, you know, keep these people at low level. A, we've got a lot of people at low level. But importantly about Martinus, which I keep forgetting, is he had this camping skill of Snuffbox, which can remove a disease. And I think it will actually do you and a target, rather than you or a target. So, having a grave robber in the wield, where people keep picking up these horrible diseases, would actually be really valuable. Plus... If we camp, we can actually take someone who's already diseased and cure them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a DPS... Well, not a DPS run, but uh, um, an antiquarian run. Uh, a, a supplies mission, I suppose. With Bagel and Martinus here. Now, Martinus obviously moves around a lot. We start in the third position. We lunge forward to the second position. Or the first position, I suppose. And fade back one. Uh, so really we probably start in the rear position now I think about it. So you go there and you go there and then you can still work from here your magic which we need you to work. In fact you can be in either position. And then Martinus goes here and then back and then back. And back. Okay. Then at the front we need someone who can be in either of those two positions in case we need to shadow fade from here. Okay. So. And Ellie is basically going to be doing uh, oh that can only be done from the third position. Uh, that's a problem. Maybe we should change this a little bit. What does this do? Just removes accuracy from them. Hmm. I mean, when we move forward, Ellie will be able to dodge, uh, do the debuff. Uh, the buff, not the debuff. Which basically means that she can work where we need her to work. Yeah, that'll work. Say work a lot, that's fine. Maybe we should level up someone like Viz as well. Just because well, we haven't done anything with Viz for ages. And if we're going to get a Vestal, we're not going to be able to take Viz out anyway. So we might as well level Viz up. Because we're not going to be able to take Viz on these two runs. So we'll do that. That seems slightly sensible, I guess. Where should we go? There is. I'm not going to do that. A short veteran mission. That seems decent, actually. A short mission means that we don't use up our... Inventory space over time. It does mean we don't get to camp, which means I don't get to heal Bagel. It's another short veteran. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long champion. Like, they run away if <laughs> if they don't want to do it because it's too low level, but they don't run away if they don't want to do it because it's high level. It'd be nice if there was a better way of... I mean, I can just about see their different colours, but I can't see at a glance what colour they're going to be. Let's do an exploration mission with Bagel and Ellie like this. It's going to be short. I don't think I really have a choice about that, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Right. We've got two Abomination Trinkets. More damage, more speed, less HP. That's okay. More Virtue Chance. What, do you tend to stress out? I don't think so. Let's make sure you don't stress out instead. Uh, something that gets us... That's really, really good. When the hell did we get that? You are going to take the books that we like that buffs the party. This one. <clears throat> Probably not that one. I mean, Ellie does do some decent damage when she does the stab. Where are we going? Warrens. No. Ruins. Ruins. Yeah, so... 
There's many humans there, so we might as well take the man haters ring. That seems good. You are going to get the default set, but we're going to take the one that doesn't cause the extra stress because I'm not too sure we're going to. Do we need the extra healing? It's a level three mission with a level two Martinus. Maybe we will need the extra healing. And we're going to be coming back sooner rather than later because it's a short, um, a short mission. So that's probably sensible. More accuracy in position 4. Which means you could actually get a really good accuracy on your lunge. But it slows you down. Or we can do this. Which gives you a good crit on your first round but slows you down for the rest of it. Which I think we did before. And maybe just accuracy on range skills because we will be rebuffing that dodge away. And you do have flashing daggers and poison darts which are both pretty decent uh, things there. So that seems good to me. Let's let's provision. And then maybe we'll do some of the uh, some of the Hamlet type stuff at the end of the mission to see what we got. That is all of it. I should have just noticed that. Ah, uh, it's a short mission. What am I doing? There we go. I mean, even 12 may be overkill. Take a couple of keys. By which I mean many keys. Probably... We'll take some of these just for the um, the debuff removal properties of them. And then one of these and a couple of these. As in back. I think that's okay. I'm mildly perturbed that I've forgotten something, but that's always true. I remember the trinkets. I remember the shovels. We came with the shovel because we have a grave digger. I think we're okay. What are we doing? Exploring. So we, can, we don't even have to backtrack. That's really nice. Alrighty then. Eddie's here to certainly assist with everything. Here we go, that's what we like to see. You, go first. Hooray! Lunge, kill something. Not very good. That's so often crits that basically I have to be honest. Uh, oh, we can't. Okay. Fair enough. So it's going to be a stressy mission because Viz as a tank has to be in beast form. Just makes some sort of sense. Often we would take two tanks um, when Viz is around. But he can de stress himself, it's just everybody else we can't de stress really. <laughs> this is started off badly. Uh, it's not the end of the world, obvs. That's fine too. Yeah, resist it all. Uh, do we start with this now? I think maybe we do. Especially if you're going to roll like that. Let me just keep raking. They do get a debuff from it, but they have to. Uh... Wait, where's the debuff? Excuse me? Oh, we get a buff. There we go. So that's going to increase in damage over time. Uh, I think we're just flashing daggers. The double kill certainly helps. Everyone will get a bit of a de stress when Viz transforms back, but it won't be as much as it started with. Which is the unfortunate thing. There's really no point in even using the uh, invigoration things. Has anybody got a guilty conscience? It wouldn't surprise me. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. Probably they can be beaten. They can be indeed. Okay, here you go. Well, that's that's helpful. Um, I was kind of expecting it to give me a a thingy, but oh well. Excuse me. Why are you still dying? Yeah, have some food. Just two. Don't want to completely run out. That might be one of those ones that reinvigorates people as well. Well, you're nearly dead. <laughs> I didn't move back. You dumbass. Uh, we should probably just do that. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, transform. At some point, we're going to want to start taking care of ourselves, but hopefully this... This embarkation, this mission will be quick enough that we really don't need to worry about it. Many resist, and a good dodge, which is really helpful. Obviously, uh, Ellie's not going to be able to do the dodge buff until Martinez moves back to the front, as it were. But if Ellie's just going to keep dodging like she always does, I'm going to be happy with that. Might have to just get Viz to de-stress himself a little bit. And you can do a big roll, please. Thank you. Probably should have popped the torch. I'm not sure the torch matters at this stage. 
I mean, we get more stress, but also, so what? <laughs> that was a uh, actually a nine heal, which is nice. Kind of tempted just to keep Viz with doing that, taking all the damage. That was 23 stress. Ridiculous. No more stress, please. Dodge. Ellie dodged again, which is really nice. At least you're resisting most of the things, but your stress is really worrying me right now. We could lunge. We can't hit that, though. A crit will kill anything, which is the nice thing about thing, but I think we're going to go for poison daggers and stay back here a little bit. The blight certainly helps. Who's that against? Okay. That's fine. It's just bleeding now, which is not ideal, but what are we going to do? Take your revenge, I suppose. That was really good. Give them no quarter. Didn't check, now I think about it, whether everyone's got their maximum level armor and, and stabbies. It's a bit of a mistake. It's definitely something we could have done with knowing. Uh, what are we on? Eight. Four. We could just kill things. Let's do this. We haven't used it for a while. It did hit both, which is very nice. You're still not dead, though. Ouchie. Fine. Do this again. Because this can heal himself and remove that stress. So as long as you don't actually completely <laughs> stress him out before we can do anything about it. Maybe bringing this on a high stress mission like this was not necessarily the best of ideas. Ouchie, though. Have you flipped out already? Yeah. Masochistic. Well, you're going to start stabbing yourself, so that's going to be fun. Those who covered injury but pop a torch to stop stressing no out so much. Flashing daggers does not really help. Shadow Fade also doesn't really help, so we might as well try and get a kill. Doesn't seem likely, but... Brings it into some sort of closer kill range, maybe, with the next flashing daggers or something like that. I don't know. And you're taking a lot of HP right now. Masochistic. Yeah, do it again. That's fine. Could have gone a lot worse, I suppose. Oh, you can still do that. Sweet. Right, let's get this party back in order, shall we? Go over there. And you go there. Right. You... Look at that. Propitions are found at the bottom of the fountain. I was actually hoping that maybe that would, you know, chill you out a little bit. It wouldn't have got rid of masochistic, but it would have stopped you having a heart attack in the next... Next time, we immediately go from zero to full. <coughs> Oop, excuse me, what? They're surprised, even though I didn't keep too much attention to the torch there. Stop that. I mean... Need we? Probably not. Although everyone else stresses out, I kind of forgot about that. The match is Hmm. Star is born. Well, let's just get on with it, I suppose. Why didn't you go first? That's interesting. Destroyed. Perfect. More like that, please. I mean, everyone stresses out once, but... Fizz stresses himself out on every turn. But every time you transform, everyone gets stressed. But only the time you transform, so... Probably... You're better off only transforming once per fight, or fewer. See, here's the problem, I don't really know how to deal with this. In this, in any situation, really. I don't know how to use this unit properly. Because it causes itself so much stress. And Absolution doesn't nearly make up for it. Ow. And we're taking a lot of crits all of a sudden, so these must have uh, leveled up to some extent. Maybe we should stop raking them like this and start... Trying to just kill him. It's 16. We could kill it. Quite likely to. Yeah. Should have gone for that one with that roll, but it seemed better to have. Oh, especially with that. It seemed better to have the uh, genuine kill than the guaranteed kill, I suppose. The more guaranteed kill. You know what I'm saying. You're gonna have to heal yourself. For two! Hooray! At least he resisted the bleed. We do have um, bandages. Maybe we should make use of them. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Tell you what, this narrator is causing more stress to my units than anybody else. 
You're very bad. Oh my goodness, really? You're going to let them have another go? Well, at least he shot in. Yeah. Take it. 7 to 10. Pretty good. But I'm going to kill this one. I know that one has a go, and this one does not, so it seems sensible. Honestly, you really need to stay alive, so keep trying. You do have hemophilia, which makes me surprised that you've continued to resist <laughs> the, uh, the aura. Oh, 20% light scope chance. That could be nice, especially on you. Just straight up light skill. Less speed. Okay. There's... There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of stress on this run, apparently. And, of course, bleed. Here you go. Just to keep us away from the brink of disaster. Oh, forgot to use Ellie. That was my mistake. There's a, there's a battle. There's another battle there, though, so it's not like we could avoid the battle. At least we know about it, and we can be ready with the torch. Hmm. Well, oh, you got this heals received, but really? <laughs> You're doing okay. You can heal yourself. Sort it out. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it just stresses everybody out. Just stresses you out. Didn't even find a trinket. I mean, an antique. What do I bring you for? Wow. Okay, good. Surprise. That means Bagel will at least get to heal one person. And Lunge may well crit. And help us out a lot, so do it. Not quite, but that's very close to death now. I'm, I don't really care about this distress anymore. It's everyone else I'm worried about. Um, I mean, I'm not sure we can do anything else in this situation. Basically, is the problem. You've got high stun resist and high move resist, which is the only thing that does. And it is not good enough. It doesn't even stun. I thought it stunned. It does not stun. In which case, we'll rage against this particular... Uh, we should kill this. At least it avoids one thing doing any damage to us, which is way more valuable than most other things I can think of right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Viz ain't dodging because he's too masochistic to understand. Um, who's your closest to death? And I think that is probably what I'm going to go with here. Who's more likely to die from one shot? And it was Martinez. And now it's <laughs> everywhere. That's fine. That's probably also fine, actually. Let's um, do this again. But also, if we can get Viz to transform back, chill everybody out a little bit. Oh, shush. Uh, yeah, transform back. Now, from this position, you can actually do other stuff. You heal yourself quite considerably when that happens, so maybe we should think about doing that more often. Right, I've rethought how we're going to do this. 110% stun. Should maybe try and stun it? We're not going to kill it. No, didn't work. Alas, you need to heal Ellie considerably. 21 is a great number because it is most of her HP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep shadow fading and then lunging to swap the position of Viz and Marty around. That's a really good time. We can't lunge from here, so you have to do that. Shadow Fade again does seem like the most sensible thing to do. You have a higher stun resist now. But Flashing Daggers, eh, also not that great. I'm learning though. Um, much of this has turned out to be a learning experience. Like maybe we should have a better skill on the Grave Robber, for example, this one, rather than um, Poison Darts. I mean, I know I gave ourselves a blight skill chance in order to use poison darts. If we had picked to the face, or any of these basically, we could be in this position much more comfortably, and therefore keep swapping like I said. Actually, you're probably the most in need of healing right now. And therefore, if we can keep Viz in this second position as often as possible. So marking yourself though. Absolve yourself whenever you're in this position. But then we have to keep skipping Marty back for two runs and forward for one. So that's kind of difficult. It doesn't work out quite as ideally as I'd like, I think it's a problem. 
Um, because Marty will only shadow fade back one step rather than two steps, we have this problem where we can't keep Viz in this position. We have to keep doing this. Now we can move Viz back to this position. But we have to skip at least two goes in order for that to work. I mean, Viz has to absolve himself twice. And Marty has to use Shadow Fade in the first place. Well, now Bagel's going to flip out. Also masochistic. Fine, no worries. Who cares? One can sometimes find clarity in um, this hasn't turned out well. This is a very stressy character, and I don't really appreciate that. But also, I don't know what to do about it. What, why would you take this character? I guess it's not a tank is the problem. Uh, I shouldn't have taken this as a tank. I'd basically forgotten, or at least not given enough credit. Wow, good dodge. To the fact that this is stressing out of everybody else is going to be such a, a, a big deal. 12, 12. You need to not die the most. Or I could just do a, this. Or... That's less damage. I kind of want it to be hittable, so hopefully we managed to debuff it. We did manage to debuff it. So now we can hit him. So keep absorbing yourself, and then when Marty gets a go, we'll do a lunge. Uh-oh. Dodge. No dodge. It's a pretty strong debuff. I might say dodge. Kill this. At least he didn't dodge it, although it is still <laughs> not dead, which is a problem. Ouch. That's actually pretty good, apart from the death store bit. So, Bagel, please have a go. <laughs> Avoided a death blow there. Very, uh, very lucky. Martinus is now also masochistic, so this is just a... This is just a lovely time for everybody. I'm going to do this, just in case Marty gets the bleed first before Bagel gets a go. Uh, this fight is not going well. I can't really use Viz. Which is the problem. Um, six, four, four. Two damage. Two damage. Right, so... You're going to take damage next. And you can heal. So you're going <sighs> to... Fine. <laughs> In that case, I guess we heal Ellie. So Ellie's still alive to heal Marty next. This is actually turning out not ideal. Let's get rid of that bleed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Marty. Seriously. Not helping. This has not turned out well. Um, putting Viz in that position was a very bad idea. I have come to understand. I do like faith in you. You see, you yourself for a decent amount. So you're going to be back on death's door again. At least you're not going to be dead. That's the important thing. Absolve your... Do it. Please be stunned. Thank you. And now the true test. Hold fast. I know you bleed. Uh... Are you... Oh, yeah, not actually, um... Bleeding anymore, and you're not going to get a hit. Right, good. We did win that fight. <laughs> I'm tempted to keep going. What do you think? I mean, the stress of leaving. I guess what's the worst that could happen? If you don't fucking eat something. Seriously, we've got a long way to go, and there is a battle here. I'm tempted. I'm just going to call it. I have decided that this was a mistake. Learn We've learned. You think you know. Wield foe, not brilliant. Rabies, also not brilliant. More damage though, maybe it is okay. Pretty bad. Alright, well let's uh <laughs> yeah, did anyone get even any resolve XP? I don't think In you get time, XP for you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Um Failing. So we'll uh, just spend all our money that we didn't actually get. 
getting Marty pissed. This, yeah, yeah, this won't drink, but just legit. Get in there. Bagel, you're level three. You're going to cost more, aren't you? Mm, fair enough. And Ellie, you might as well go drink with Marty, your partner in crime. Get out of it. Well, I think I'm going to just make that a short episode. Uh, we learned a lot about the use of the abomination, which is basically don't. Uh, but maybe we've got something good in here. We have got a Vestal. Yoink! So in the next episode, <laughs> we've finally got what we needed. We're going to rename these two people and bring them in with, you know, the, the lower level people. Start leveling them up, try and get them to a level two where we can then face those bosses. This unit really... That's, that's fine. Uh, this unit really needs to be able to do... To be level 2 in order to fight that boss. And that's what we're going to aim for. We also need to unlock... Party Heal. Which we should do now. Why not? Let's not go in the Abbey because that's not what we want to do. I'm clicking here. Just, uh, we definitely want to unlock Party Heal. Sweet. Well, we've got something to do. We finally got ourselves out of the rut. Which caused me to try and take silly risks like taking... Uh, under equipped party into a dangerous mission well thank you for watching in the next episode we'll do all those, all those things we've got at least one or two uh, apprentice missions that we can take them on so I look forward to seeing you and I will see you uh, then